family and internet stranger Stephanie here with a new what's for dinner video. This week these meals are very simple. They are budget friendly except for of course my really costly fail. I am so upset that one of my meals turned into a fail and it was one that even though it was on sale I bought beef and I don't buy beef very often so Stay tuned for some of my disappointment over that. But for the rest of these, they are delicious meals and I hope it gives you some inspiration. Let's get right into it. First up, it has been chilly weather. I have been craving chili and in Southern California right now, it has been cold, it has been rainy. So I was very excited to finally make some chili. I have shown this on my channel before, so I can link that in the description box down below. But basically I started out with some ground beef that I had browned up. I had gotten it on clearance from my local Kroger, which was in last week's grocery haul. And then I used bell pepper that I already had chopped up from other things. I used onion that was frozen, so it was already diced up and frozen. This can of crushed tomato is the main way that I deviated from last time I made this, and that's just because I cannot find small cans of tomato puree, and I really wanted to not open a full thing of tomato puree because I do have the large cans that I use to make my homemade spaghetti sauce. So I used the crushed tomato and that worked out just fine, as well as a can of tomato sauce. Then I also added a seasoning packet. I used one packet of the McCormick chili seasoning to go with my one pound of ground beef. And then I added my beans, kidney beans, black beans, and then added some more seasoning on top of that chili packet. So I added extra pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, chili powder, if I didn't already say that one. So I added a few of those and then put it in the slow cooker. Then I had these hush puppy packets and I've been wanting hush puppies, but I have not been wanting to take out my entire electric skillet because I can't bring myself to do any sort of deep frying on my gas stove top. I always use an electric skillet if I'm going to be deep frying anything. And I haven't wanted to do that, so I decided these might be interesting in the air fryer. So to make it so that it wasn't super runny, I put my mix in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes beforehand, and then I scooped it out. And my thought was that this would make kind of little hush puppy biscuits, and my thought was correct. Uh, that is exactly what happened. I put these in the air fryer after they had chilled, and after I had spritzed them with a little bit of avocado oil, put these in the air fryer at 350 for about nine minutes, and they turned into these adorable little biscuits. They were so good. Here is my finished chili. So I am topping this off with a little bit of shredded cheese, as well as some sour cream and some red onions. And that is one of my preferred ways to eat chili. When I was growing up, we always just had chili with cheese on top and we dipped tortilla chips in it. And I never knew until I was older that there were other ways that you could eat chili because that was how we always had it. So I do like adding red onion and sour cream in addition to my cheese. And look how cute those little hush puppy biscuits were. They were so tasty and I was able to reheat the leftovers back in the air fryer for a few minutes the next day when I was having some leftovers for lunch. So that is my chili dinner and it hit the spot just right. Next up, I've got some buffalo chicken salad. In addition to the meat that I had gotten on clearance at Kroger, the ground beef, I had also found a reduced sticker on these wings, these mild buffalo wings, and I thought these would be great on a salad after putting them in the air fryer. So I had it for lunch one day and then dinner the next. So for this, I already had chopped up my green bell peppers as well as my carrots. I added some cucumber and red onion, which I had chopped up after I'd had it for lunch the day before, and then added my dressing right into this container, a little bit of ranch because I was out of blue cheese. So I add my romaine on top of that, and if you're new here and haven't seen me do this before, this is how I like to make salads. I like it to be all evenly distributed, so I chop things up really small and then I shake them 
in some sort of Tupperware container. And that is my favorite way to make salads. I have found that I am much more likely to eat salads more often now that I have started doing it this way. My chicken comes out of the air fryer. I had just popped that in the air fryer at 350 until it was warmed through. And this is a tasty salad. The next night was girls' night. I went out to dinner with friends for the first time in a very long time and got distracted and realized I never took a picture of my food. So this is what I got. I had gotten a pizza and then I had gotten a bigger one so I could have leftovers for lunches for the next few days. I got the, I believe it's called the BJ's Favorite, but I got it with no mushrooms and no olives because I'm not a fan of mushrooms or olives. And so it had sausage, meatball peppers, onions, and tomatoes, I believe were what were on mine. The point at which I realized I had not taken any pictures of what I had gotten for dinner was when I took a picture of my dessert. I got a peanut butter pizookie. If you're not familiar with BJ's, they are known for these pizookies, which is like a pizza cookie. So they serve you a warm cookie in a little deep dish container with ice cream on top. So, so good. For the next night, I don't have a pretty picture because my dinner did not turn out. I tried to make one of those three packet pot roasts with the brown gravy mix, the zesty Italian, and the uh, ranch dressing mix that you mix it all with water and then pour it over your pot roast. So I tried this and I mixed all of my stuff together. I poured it over my pot roast and then put it in the slow cooker while I was at work. So it was supposed to cook for 10 hours on low heat. I had seared it beforehand, so I got the outsides nice and brown. That's why you can see steam. So you can see my Instant Pot was working, no problems. But this is what I found when I got home, was that it looked like it had cooked, and I was expecting this to fall apart every time I see someone make one of these. It's just falling apart. But look at that. Mine did not cook. And my, my Instant Pot was working fine. My slow cooker was working fine. There had to have been something wrong with the meat. It didn't smell bad when I had put it in that morning. But this was the next day after I had continued to cook it when it didn't finish. It stayed in the slow cooker for what ended up being about 12, 13 hours and just did not cook through. It was not falling apart and it was so disappointing because I was so looking forward to it. So I ended up just having leftover pizza with some cucumber salad and some strawberries. So I'll show you a little bit of how I made my cucumber salad. So to do this, I just simply put cucumbers and red onions in a little container, just like when I make my salads, I like to shake everything up. So I add some ranch dressing to this and give it a good shake. And the cucumber salad was delicious, but I was very devastated that my chuck roast had not turned out because I really had been looking forward to trying that. And I had paid, even though it was on sale, that is still expensive to get that beef. Sorry if y'all can hear the loud cars racing outside my apartment, but I was disappointed in that. And then the next night, I ended up having leftover chili alongside some mac and cheese. I've shown this on my channel before. I love having just chili over mac and cheese. It's so simple, but so delicious. And then the next night, I was really wanting chicken, but I did not have a single ounce of chicken left in my apartment. I had eaten all of the chicken out of the freezer and then just finally went and got my Costco membership this week. So now I'm back to being stocked up on chicken, but I was not at this point in time. So I got Yoshinoya, which is Japanese fast food. So I got grilled chicken teriyaki and it came with white rice and veggies. And I also got a side of spring rolls because I love their spring rolls. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration and maybe if you've had some fails lately, maybe it helped you feel better. If you have had fails in your cooking lately, let me know in the comment section. What were they? Maybe, maybe it'll make me feel better about my pot roast fail. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And also, super random, but today, the day that this video is posting, marks one year since I got my love, Ducky. Since I have no love life, my car 
is my baby. I love Ducky and I love taking Ducky on road trips. And later this year, I am potentially going to be doing a round trip cross country road trip. I've gone one way, stayed a while, and then back the other way. But I have never done just a continuous round trip with no more than two or three nights in a row of stopping. So that may be happening later on this year. And just in case it does, since I'm still in the planning phases, let me know in the comments section, where do you think I should go? And if you don't watch my road trip videos, they're always linked below. Hope you'll check them out and celebrate Ducky's birthday by watching some road trip videos.